Hey, I'm Aranth. I've got five pieces of advice for you regarding your abusive husband. Let's talk about that. Popular Twitch streamer and OnlyFans creator Amaranth was uh, revealed, had revealed over the weekend that not only is she married, her partner is incredibly abusive, psychologically abusive, and uh, has been manipulating her and forcing her to continue streaming even when she doesn't want to. So for those of you who don't know, um, I certainly didn't know. So Amaranth is a popular Twitch uh, content creator. She makes video games or <laughs> she makes uh, videos about her playing video games. And um, she also does OnlyFans. And as a result, cumul cumulatively between donating money to her and also selling her OnlyFans account, she's able to make apparently. She makes as much as $1.5 million per month. Yeah, that's a ton of money. Um, yeah, so if you want to Amaranth, go ahead and share that with me. It's all this code. I'm, I'm totally down for some cash, okay? Um, so apparently she was revealing that her husband has been abusive. Um, it's all over the web. You can find videos talking about it at length. So what I want to do in this video, though, is talk about like some five actionable advices for you, Amaranth, if you're watching. Because you've got to be watching Solo's Coast channel, right? Right. So here's some five actionable advice for you um, to help kind of survive this ordeal. I've been wanting to tell people that, like, let's just stream together. Just tell them that we're fucking married. Because it's like, our relationship would be better if we just stream them. And it's a fighting all the time. No, Mr. I don't, know, I don't, don't say that because it's going to run the business model. It's not time yet. <laughs> fuck yourself. I'm done with it. I'm not going to fuck you anymore. You don't want, you want me to tell them I'm single? It's about to be true, piece of shit. Well, it sounds like you're ready for my advice. So the first one is being able to recognize the signs of an abusive relationship. All right. The therapist even told him that it's a form of like psychological abuse and that... I'm basically living in a fancy prison, and then he was changed for a bit, and then the hot tub meta arose, and he was like, oh, this is an opportunity, and then he turned into an asshole again, when I agreed to commit to the grind, because it was a good financial opportunity for us. First sign is, if they start to give you a budget of any sorts, putting a cap on what you can spend, when you can spend, you know, micromanaging aspects of your life where it's not a collaborative situation right like it's not where hey we're discussing what we're gonna do for dinner or what we're gonna go spend or what we're gonna buy for whatever anniversary or whatever situation so whenever that happens there's a budget and limit and constraint that's forced from one party to another um typically you are you find yourself in an abusive relationship another sign any sense of entitlement to what you own cameraman we're like we're in the house now it's like the next time when i say plan do it dumb fuck do you understand like what plan are you talking about it's like fuck this i'm calling you so i disappeared from stream take the call so i can't and tell them i can't talk right now we're getting wi-fi i don't care you get the call now last chance about to dump your luggage you know from the, the, my hotel room but throwing your stupid merch off the balcony proceeding to ditch your stuff you don't need the makeup or th or the the live view like the stream epic or the clothes, huh? Deleting social media in one minute, buying options that expire and blasting the cash. About to shut down the bank account, your bank account too. Lag is terrible. Stream is garbage. It's like about to delete Twitter in thirty seconds if you don't call me. My phone's literally off, right? I'm just like it literally died. Gonna donate. $250,000 to pull him he's like a bird sanctuary he likes. In the next two minutes, 250k gone. Especially things that you produce, you go to work or your OnlyFans, your Twitch, what have you, and you're producing that and somehow they feel entitled to all of it or majority of it for whatever reason. That's, it's a clear sign that you are in an abusive relationship. Another one, another one, another one. They're limiting your accounts. One person has all control where another person doesn't have any control. That is not fair. So any situation where there's not a community, a collaborative approach to decision making is always a toxic situation. So there is a power grab, right? A power imbalance. Both of you need to be able to make decisions equally. There's a give and take, obviously. So. 
That's the first sign. You have to be able to recognize that, hey, you are in a box that is on fire and you need to get out of there as fast as possible. Tip number two, somehow, some way, you have got to establish access to your sets of accounts. All right, so him having all the access or her having all the access, whatever the situation, that is not good. So how you go about doing it is, is you've got to file some police reports, you gotta file some complaints, you have to talk to your bank, you have to talk to your online social media accounts, your OnlyFans, your Twitch, or what have you. You have to start establishing um, and exercising your rights and ownership over those sets of content, those sets of assets. And especially filing those police reports is going to establish, hey, you know what? This is important to me. This is mine. So I need to get an access to it. And then it starts at the same time establishing a paper trail so that when you go to, okay, step number, you know, I'll talk about that in a second. But it's super important to start doing exercising your rights to says, hey, you know what? I have ownership interest over these sets of uh, properties. Tip advice number three. You have to get some allies on your side, your friends, your family, and hell, all right, you have the whole entire internet on your side. All right, so abuse is not cool in any situation. It's bullying at all levels, not okay, right? So this douche needs to be dropped as fast as possible. If you're light on friends, Solo's code and channel is here for you. At the same time, you have local resources available for you. That's abuse hotlines you can call to get some help. Tip number four, it's time to get a lawyer. All right, so an, a lawyer is going to be a tremendous asset, uh, ally on your side, right? Yeah, I'm gonna leave you with one million and I'm gonna take the rest because I worked harder than you. It's like, and if you don't agree, then I'm gonna burn it all in court. I'm gonna put it all in fucking crypto. There's always threats, always threats. All the fucking accounts are like two factor under his number and all the, he has all the, like the login information of things, you know? It's like the, keeps you there with the fear and the threats. And you fear that he's gonna do something to your animals. And then he's nice again. And says that everything's gonna be okay. When you've taken to heart advice number one, and you know you're in a box on fire and all that stuff, it's you're in danger, get out. So when you have that and you know that, and you start to establish paper trails and you have talked to the police and you're saying, hey, look what's going on, people. Uh, you're establishing that you have ownership interests over your mutual community property. Um, a lawyer is going to be able to like just take all those fantastic pieces of information, file ca uh, file a, a grievance with the court, and you guys can duke this, duke this out. And you're already a woman, right? Like, so you have law on your side. Not saying that. I mean, men. I'm sorry. Like we we're, we're kind of screwed. Um, but in this situation, it's fair and appropriate, right? Um, so definitely, definitely, if you haven't already, get some lawyer, right? Get lawyers at this point. I mean, you have, you're making 1.3 mil per month. Get yourself a good lawyer and you guys, you, you're going to be just fine. And that brings me to number five. Continue to embrace who you are. You have 1.3 million followers, 1.3 million being generated per month. Worst case scenario, right? Worst case scenario you're able to close down all your current social media accounts. Just give it over to him, okay? The lawyers will help you fight back and get back the monetary value out of it. Start brand new Twitch accounts, start brand new OnlyFans accounts, and your fans are going to go with you, all right? They're not gonna go with him. Like, who cares about him? They're gonna go with you. And in short order, you'll be back to making 1.3 mil per month going forward, times that by months, years, or what have you. You're made, right? So this is a blip, all right? It's gonna just nonsense. All right, so I hope you like those five uh, advice. And if you do, uh, feel free to drop me 1.3 mil. Um, my account's gonna be down low. Um, if not, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to take only just a quarter, um, if you're okay with that. Um, okay, maybe just 50,000. All right, cool. All right, we'll talk. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the content, please subscribe. Um, and also don't forget to hit the like button. Till next time, I'm Solace Code.